Hey everybody, it's that college football guy here with another video. Yeah, I'm, uh, I made it to my new stop. You know, right, you know yesterday I was in uh, Richland, Mississippi. I recorded my videos before I got unloaded. Yeah, got there a little before 7 in the morning yesterday. I didn't get unloaded until quarter after 12. Actually, it was a quarter, about 11.45 they finished unloading me. But then it took them half an hour to do the count because apparently they shipped me one item short. So they had to recount everything three times to confirm I was short. Then I had to go back in and count it to make sure it was short. So that's why it took so long to get out of there. But now I got a, went out of there, went north to Jackson, Mississippi to pick up a load. Now I'm here. Where am I at? I need to pull over here because I've got the... Get the crane. I'm in Jersey Village, Texas, which is west of Houston. That's where I'm at right now. But uh, time to continue the Pac-12 scheduling previews. And it's time for the Washington Huskies, who... Had an incredible season last year. A um, couple of unexpected losses they had in the early part of the season, but then they just took off from there and had an incredible year. Can they repeat it again? Michael Penix Jr. again? We are going to see. Now, first of all, let's get the housekeeping out of the way so we can get this done with. Everyone, please, if you can, smash the like button, hit the thumbs up. It helps with the algorithm, helps the video be seen by more people. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think about this. We'll go into details about what it's going to be at the end here. And subscribe to the channel. Almost at 400 subscribers. Slowly but surely getting that crawl up to 1,000 so we can start actually getting some stuff happen here. All right. First and foremost, let's see. We get the video here is basically, for those of you who haven't paid attention to any of these, or paid attention to the other ones, I do this as scheduled preview. This is not scheduled prediction. I do those later in the year. But scheduled preview, we go through the schedule of what, First thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to go through the non-conference games from last year and this year and decide which one's tougher. And then we're going to schedule preview for the entire schedule of all last season and this season and decide which one's tougher. I'll give my thoughts. You let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So first and foremost, to get anything out the way here, let's talk about the non-conference games from last season and a comparison here. So... Their non-conference games, all three were at home, folks. Home against Kent State, home against Portland State, and home against Michigan State. One Power Five, one Group of Five, one FCS. All right. This season, home against Boise State, home against Tulsa, at Michigan State. One Power Five, two Group of Five. That alone would make it tougher, but the fact is the Power Five's on the road. Yeah, it definitely, I have to say that this year's non-conference schedule is way tougher than last season's. Now let's go through last season's entire schedule. Here's where you get to the point where I'm talking about, we'll get to a point here where we're talking about it's a stumbling blocks. Home against Kent State, they won 45-20. to Home against Portland State, ripped them apart, won 52-6. Home against Michigan State, this is a game I thought the Michigan State would actually win, but I kept reminding them, I had I forgot my own rule. Teams traveling west or west tier teams traveling east travel does affect. Well, it did because they Michigan State lost to Washington 39-28. Home against Stanford, they won 40-22. Four straight home games to start the year. Then they go on the road, and that's when the problem started. At UCLA, lost 40-32. At Arizona State, lost 45-38. How in the world did you lose Arizona State? I don't know what happened in the locker room. I don't know who screamed at who. But that was the last time they lost all year. They went on an absolute tear and won their next seven games. Home against Arizona, won 49-39. Arizona put up a lot of points there. At Cal, won 28-21. Oh, that's not, come on now. It's giving up some points. It's closer games. Then they get the bye week, so they played eight games and got the bye week, so injuries may have been popping up. Home against Oregon State, 124-21. Well, that's a tough game. At Oregon, 137-34. That was huge. They beat Oregon 37-34. Home against Colorado. Colorado was nothing last year. They got molly whopped. Beat them 54-7. And at Washington State, in-state rivalry game on the road, but they won 51-33. So that put them in the Alamo Bowl against Texas, and they won 27-20. So four straight wins, two straight losses, and then finished the season on a seven-game winning streak. Coming out finishing hot. Now this season's schedule, 
home against Boise State, home against Tulsa, at Michigan State. Western team traveling somewhat east. It hurt Michigan State. It's going to hurt Washington. Plus, Washington, since last year, their first game on the road was a problem. Is it going to be the same thing this year? We'll see soon enough. Then they go start conference play, home against Cal, at Arizona. That'll be interesting there. Then they get the bye week. So instead of having eight in front of it for the bye and then four after, now it's five in front of the bye week and seven after, which means fatigue is going to take a lot more of an effect than the last couple of games. Then they're home against Oregon. That'd be big. Home against Arizona State. Did you ever thought to yourself you would say the home Arizona State Washington is a revenge game for Washington? Yet it is, folks. At Stanford, and then comes this run. Now you're nine. You're seven games in, right? Seven. You're not seven games in. Excuse me. Eight games in. Final four of the season. And what a final four. <laughs> At USC. Home against Utah, two-time defending conference champs. At Oregon State, who you barely beat last year. And then home against Washington State, your in-state rival. That is a tough last four games. So, with it being at Michigan State, I mean, basically, you swapped out... Let me look for here correctly here. Make sure I got the right games. If you played, you swapped out UCLA and Colorado for USC and Utah, and USC's on the road. Yeah, I I think it would be a very fair statement to say that I believe this year's schedule is tougher than last year's. But let's look at a comparison for the five common conference opponents that they played both years. Obviously, they play Washington State. They play Oregon and Oregon State. They play those rivals. I'm looking here for who else they played. And I'm going to have to say it's going to be because... Wow. It's just like, who do you pick here? Arizona State had a bad year. Colorado had a bad year. They're not going to be there. Um, is it Cal Stanford? I just have to say Arizona is one of the better teams. Um, and Stanford, I have to say, is a better team. So Stanford, Arizona, Oregon State, Oregon, and Washington State. Those will be the five that I'm doing. You can pick your own five if you wish to. But of those five games, Stanford, Arizona, Oregon State, Oregon, Washington State, of those five, three of them were at home. Stanford was at home. Arizona was at home. Oregon State was at home. Oregon and Washington State were on the road. And you won at Oregon. That was huge. But this year, of those same games, now three, now the Arizona game, who you gave up 39 points to, you're going to travel to Arizona to do that one. Oregon, you're at home, but that's a re revenge game. I mean, Stanford, you beat them up by 18, but you got to travel. You had to head down south to head down to Stanford. Oregon State, who you barely beat at home. Now you got to play them on the road. Washington State's going to be at home now. Um, I mean, the road games from last year, at UCLA, at Arizona State, both of those losses. At, I, mean, I mean, folks, is Washington, I look at this right now. Tell me right now if I'm wrong. Is Washington a team that struggles, has problems on the road? At UCLA, lost 40 to 32. At Arizona State, lost 45 to 38. At Cal, 128 21, seven point victory. At Oregon, 137 34. At Washington State, 151 33. The only game they had as a blowout or a significant win at home was the final one of the year. They lost two, they were three and two on the road. That's not going to get it done. And this year, at Michigan State, at Arizona, at Stanford, at USC, at Oregon State. I don't think there's any dispute this season's. So top to bottom, non-conference and conference games, this one's tougher in my opinion. But why don't you let me know your thoughts down in the comments. So thanks everybody for watching the video. Um, this is going to be an interesting year for Washington. Michael Penix says, I pretty much feel like his last year at Washington. I figure he's going to be going the draft. Uh, but you let me know down in the comments what you think here. Tell me in the comments, which do you think was tougher? Last year's non-conference schedule or this year's non-conference? And which was tougher? 
last year's schedule or this year's schedule. Let me know your thoughts in the comments what you think about this. So thanks everybody for watching the video. I forgot to mention this before this, but if you like and comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. But if you subscribe to the channel, please make sure you hit the notifications bell. That way it lets you know when I put out a video. I try to put one out every single day. Sometimes I put out more. But uh, hit the notifications bell to let you know that I'm posting videos every single day. So thanks everybody for watching. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's early. But I'm doing the videos earlier now because I wait till later like I did during those evening downloads. I get parked at 5 o'clock. It may not upload till 3 o'clock in the morning because of whatever. But if I do them earlier in the morning, they show up. I don't know why that works, but that's just the way it is. So thanks everybody for watching the video. Hope everybody has a great Tuesday. Be safe out there and please be good to each other.